Good morning. So, I've got a client over there. Just getting a lash lift. Um, I had a client this morning, and I feel so sick. I have, like, a cough, and, um, my sciatic is so bad. Anyway, Charlie is sick. Sit down. Sit down. Hey, I said sit down. Sit down. Sit. Rude. Anyways, he's had diarrhea for like, I think, three or four days now. And like, he took a solid poop. And then, yeah, he's got diarrhea again, so... I don't know what's up with that, but, um, yeah. Might have to take him to the vet, which sucks. Anyways, I just finished yesterday's vlog, editing yesterday's vlog, and then, um, I'm gonna quickly go do my face, and then, um, work out, then if I still have time, edit maybe one of the videos from yesterday that I filmed, so, and then it'll probably be time for work. My anxiety is, like, through the roof today, so I just, I don't know how to work through it. And it's like driving me nuts, so do you talk about it? <laughs> but I don't know. Anyways, I am gonna go wash my face <laughs> and then put some makeup on. And hopefully it'll get a little bit better. Uh it's a uh, Mai Tai. What's a Mai Tai? It's fucking martial arts, man. It's a tequila sunrise. You make some things up, huh? Yeah, do you actually think I'd be pounding alcohol? First of all, I barely drank to begin with. What's that video I sent you yet? No, because I've been on the phone with you. What did you have for dinner? Fish. Pardon? Fish. Fish. With um, potatoes or with rice? Independence Army and they blew up a telephone box. <laughs> They're like, we blew up this red telephone box because it's the red of the queen. But if mm. I went black, mm. I would look, I would, if it would see me. No. It would. Mm -mm. It's, look. <laughs> That's ice cube. Skin. I don't care what anyone says. You don't look like ice cube. No, you don't. Huh? <laughs> Maybe if you put a toque on. A what? A toque. A toque. A hat. Oh, yeah, I can do that. That's called, that's called a fucking hat. <laughs> no, it's called a toque. It's called a hat. It's called a toque. Oh, no, it's called a toque. It's called a toque. No! <laughs> That's not what I'm looking for. Um, yeah, they were, they were these in NWA. Yeah, but I'm looking for a toque. I think you call it a beanie. Uh. Rude. <laughs> you know when you have full intention to like leave early, stop and get a coffee. <laughs> that was my intentions today. Do something different with my hair. <laughs> But I worked out and I'm like, my sciatic is so sore and I'm trying to push myself through it. And now it's just even more sore, so I'm gonna let the dogs out and then I gotta go because I'm gonna be late. <laughs> Hi. Hi, can I get a peppermint white hot chocolate, please? Uh, sorry, um, grande. Thank you. Maybe I would drink more water if I had a liberty water bottle. Oh, I, I could really use some new underwear, but like, 
I like the plainest underwear ever if I'm gonna get underwear. And these are so ugly. But they're 10, 10 for 35. Do you want to go outside? Come on. Oh, that's a no. <laughs> Alright, so I just got home. I'm going to quickly shower. I'm going to put on a face mask and then get to work. <laughs> I find when I get home in the evenings, like, there's, like, such a small window between me being, like, awake and too tired. So, um, I'm going to try and get some work done. I have some videos to edit and stuff. And so, yeah. I'm going to... Oh, and I'm going to light a candle because obviously I'm not going to, like, move with, like, my Joe Malone candles and stuff. So, I'm going to light a candle. And yeah, that's about it. So, I'm going to go shower and I'll show you the face mask I'm, I'm using at the moment. <laughs> Alright, so I just saturated my hair with this stuff. It's the Bond Ultimate Fiber Protecting System. Um, honestly, it's just supposed to help breakage and stuff. My hair is breaking like crazy. I want to chop it all off. Because it was like basically less than a year ago, it was like jet black, and then I went so light in summer, and I knew the damage was gonna happen, but I just kind of wanted to get the damage out of the way and then deal with it from there. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna bleach it again until maybe summer, just kind of do like a kind of brown color. Anyways, I got this like a couple months ago, and honestly, I didn't feel like it really did anything. Um, there was one really good um, mask that I had. I don't even remember what brand, I think it was Lella, and I might see if I can find that because like my hair felt so good after I used that. Anyways, I put this on, and then this is what I've been washing my face with. Um, I only bought this maybe two weeks ago. Misty's been going to town on this as well with me, but um, yeah, it's been really good and it's like, it eliminates sebum and impurities and it's for oily skin with imperfections or salicylic acid in it, which does my skin wonders. Honestly, if I paired this with the Clarisonic, I feel like I would have no skin problems ever. <laughs> but those things are just such an investment. So anyways, I use this. All right. And then I've been taking these Vichy wipes and then um, just wiping off my face because you'd be surprised at how much more makeup you can get off your face. I double cleanse, but I still like to go in with these. Like, look, there's still makeup. Crazy. Alright, and then I've had the big one of this before, but um, it was just like something I could get with my Sephora points. So, this is the Origins Clear Improvement Active Charcoal Mask to Clear Pores. Um, it says use one, once a week. I've been using it probably once a week because I have other masks to use as well. I hope I'm not like cutting myself out of this, but yeah. Anyways, I don't have a mirror in this bathroom because it's under renovation, but uh, just take a shit ton <laughs> and just kind of feel it out. And then I don't like touching the bottle after, so I wash my hands and then go in for a bit more up there. <laughs> Hopefully that's alright. <laughs> alright, now I'm going to take a swig of this. So I get really bad canker sores when I'm stressed out. And then um, if I eat certain foods, when I have the canker sores, it makes the canker sores worse, and like, it just gets kind of infected, and then if I get one, like, I could have easily 16 to 18 canker sores in my mouth at a time, which is really frustrating, and then I can't eat, which isn't a bad thing all the time, but anyways, um, I've got like four, and maybe only three, yeah, only three, and then mouth right now, so I'm just gonna gurgle with this because I find the alcohol like just kind of gets all the bacteria out of there and then I brush my teeth afterwards.
oh my gosh, I can tell there's way more than three in my mouth because it just like burns so bad. It's crazy, like my doctor, I remember I was like probably 11 and I went in because I kept on getting these like massive canker sores. Like I would get one here, one here, one here, and then it would all form into one big one. And he was like, it's from stress. And I remember being like, I'm 12, like what do I have to be stressed out about? But then it was interesting once he said that I started looking back at when I would have flare ups of them and it would be right after I dealt with something stressful and I dealt with something stressful over the weekend and it's just crazy how now a couple days after that I have these like big canker sores forming in my mouth so it's one of the things I try and keep kind of a low stress lifestyle because obviously this is minor but there's other things that kind of happen as well with like my stress flare ups so yeah and then like it kind of stresses me out because like my friends and like mentors and families and stuff like they notice I mean not family <laughs> I don't know why I said that but you know like after church on Sunday um my pastor called I'm alive and, and I am was somewhat like, well yes <laughs> you okay? like you looked upset and I okay, okay I'll talk to you through that I okay, looked bye. like I was moping around or anything but I think sometimes when people know you really well, they're able to pick up on those things quite fast. And two other people asked as well, but they're my close girlfriends. So then that stressed me out even more because I was like, ugh. Obviously, like, it's kind of affected me a lot. So, yeah. Anyways, rambling. I'm going to let this sit for 20 minutes and then um, I'm going to come back and brush my teeth. And yeah. Oversized distressed denim jacket. It's from New Look and it's actually from the guys section because I couldn't find oversized ones in the girls section anymore and I had been looking for a while so unfortunately I'm still editing and I still need to go wash this off my face. <laughs> it's so tight. Um I think Charlie's got like a bug or something because he anytime he eats the worst the worst gas and then he's had diarrhea and he's like had a bloody butt. Sorry if that's TMI, but he's like literally right underneath me and just every couple of minutes it's just like the rankest fart I've ever swallowed in my life, so. Oh, vets are so expensive as well. Anyways, I'm going to go wash this off. <laughs> Alright, I washed that face mask off and now I'm going to use a bit of this. Um, I'm pretty sure I've said it in a video before, but like my most viewed video on YouTube is like dealing with a lightning skin lightning product and it's just crazy to read the comments on it but I get really bad hyperpigmentation if you can see I think I've got like an acne scar up here and just anything that happens to my skin it scars so dark anyways this has been probably what I've used the most the last two years um, and I put it on my elbows because if you check out my elbows they are dark <laughs> And then I have a couple of like blemishes on my chest and stuff. So um, I'm just going to actually do my chest and my elbows with this. And then um, I've got this, which again was like just with my VIB points. Um, but it's the, or did I get it in a swag bag? I might have got it in a swag bag at some point. But it's the Ole Henriksen Invigorating Night Transformation Gel. So yeah, I'm going to whack this on. This guy is like pretty lightweight and so is that. So it's not like I'm going to like lie in the pillow and feel like that's stuck to my face or anything like that because it should absorb but yeah and then I think I'm just going to I have a few things to do admin wise and then um watch some Netflix so I might say goodnight here if you don't see me again good night <laughs> and then uh if you do see me I, I don't know I'll tell you what I'm up to I guess <laughs>